Hello, this is Wade Shepard and Petrus Shepard from uh, VagabondJourney.com and we're in Shaman in uh, an island off the coast of Fujian province in China. Um, in an area called uh, called the Raging, uh, it's now a shopping district. Um, now, now uh, Shaman was one of the first uh, special economic zones of China. So it used to be, uh, the island part used to be full of uh, factories and, uh, and industrial enterprises and things like that. But um, uh, later on, uh, the city kind of kind of booted most of the factories off the island and, and onto the mainland, and it left behind like a lot of uh, a lot of empty uh, uh, factory spaces, right? That weren't really being being used, and um, they uh, they knocked down a lot of them and just just wiped them off the map, right? There, there are a lot. Most of them are gone now, but some of them, uh, like the place behind me, has been uh, redeveloped and, and reworked and uh, to be to be something different. Uh, this place is called. Uh, it's called the uh, you know the Cow Parade Park. That's uh, that's what they call it, and um, uh, it's just like a reworked uh, uh, factory area that's uh, become kind of like an art, cultural, uh, commercial, and uh, a restaurant center. It's like a painted cow theme, right? Uh, people tell me that it's a thing that you know, has been done in other places in the world. Apparently, these artists come and they they uh, they, they paint these cows, right, with like different pictures on them. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't really get it. But but there's a lot of painted cows here. I mean, a lot of artists came once. They had like this big cow paint uh, exhibition, and all these guys and, and girls like painted these cows, and now they now they set them up in the streets and, and blah blah. That's that's a theme of this area. And they even went to run as far as to like painting the buildings, the old factory buildings, up to look like cows. Now when a country, um, or even a city, uh, makes a transition from being uh, um, industrial to post-industrial, they have to answer the question of, what are we going to do with all these factories? What are we going to do with all these industrial zones that we don't use anymore? And um, I mean, sometimes, you know, they, they knock them down and uh, build something else. Sometimes they just leave them there. I mean, the outskirts of Buffalo, New York are just full of like uh, old, you know, factory areas that nobody's really doing anything with. Um, but another another solution is to like transform them into something else, transform them into artistic or, or social spaces or, or even like housing. Um, they've been doing this a lot in Europe for, for quite a while and, and a little bit in the USA too as people come into like these factory areas and uh, and create you know new, new social space or they do they rework the factories into, uh, into being something else. Um, and that's also happening in China. I mean, I mean imagine that. I mean, some parts of China are, are going post-industrial, right? That seems uh, that seems crazy, you know, based on like what, what we know of the country. But the island part of Xiamen is is a post-industrial area. Um, they removed the factories, right? And you know, they're they're reworking um and the places that the factories were. And this Cow Parade Park uh, Street is, is 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 one example of uh of um, a post-industrial solution uh, in China. And so we're in one of the factories now, one of the cow factories. It's, uh, been, been, uh, this one's been transformed, or this part has been transformed into a hotel. Um, there's some, some hotels through here, and there's also like uh, some, some residential areas and office space. Mm -hmm. 